So most of you have probably already seen the marathon reveal. And for those of you who don't know, Bungie has released a marathon intro, which is pretty cool. It's no gameplay. It's just like a cinematic uh, reveal of the game, which is pretty cool. I will be talking about this a lot because I do think it's important as a destiny player. And I know this is not destiny related, but it just, I can't really talk about marathon without talking about destiny Two because that's kind of where my thoughts and my like feelings come into play. So if you guys like the video, like comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think about marathon because I personally will not be touching it. Um, just because I that Bungie's track record, uh, let's talk about it. So first and foremost, let's talk about marathon itself. It is an old IP that Bungie has in the back log. And it's pretty funny because I know a lot of marathon players are probably going to get mad at this game because it's not directly connected to the trilogy and it's not a direct sequel. It, if I could explain it in a perfect way, it's the same thing that respawn did with Titanfall when it transitioned to, uh, apex legends because apex legend was its own thing. It's not directly connected to any of the games, but it is within the same universe and I can tell you as a Titanfall 2 player, I felt completely disrespected and I hated it. I absolutely hate Apex Legends because me personally, I would have just wanted a Titanfall 3 because I think Titanfall 2 legitimately is the best PVP game out there uh, for movement and just feels great. Like I will die on that th on the hill that Titanfall 2 is just PVP wise the best game in the in the industry. It's just so fucking good. So marathon players this is your apex legends unfortunately and it's really unfortunate because it's basically well i don't i shouldn't say basically it's an extraction shooter but bungie has said themselves and when i found out it was an extraction shooter i immediately lost all interest i am not the biggest fan of extraction shooters because at its core i just think they're brs with extra steps and i know extraction shooters are probably going to get mad at that but it really is just a br with extra steps like you fight teams within a map to extract to get loot and like it's kind of the same thing with brs where it's like you fight other teams to be the last one standing it, just the case of this one is just has extra steps so i immediately lost interest unless there's like i don't know some like i can see them trying to do other modes like maybe all of the loot that you get in the extraction shooter you can use in like other matches like team deathmatch and whatnot but they would have to have a system in place where your weapons decay over matches not like oh i can only use this weapon one time but most likely like this weapon has like a durability issue and then once it's all over i have to go back into extraction i can use it there because it has unlimited duration but in regular pvp it, it has like a duration so that way players don't get the coolest shit and just never go into extraction ever again because a thousand percent, I would do that. I would with 1000% go into an extraction, get the best loot that I can get or the weapons that I want, and then just immediately dip out and just play the actual like PVP because that's probably what I would do. Um, unless they just give you basic loadouts and you're just like, here you go. And then you fight people with better loot. And then th that kind of brings the problem because like it's essentially destiny two with just PVP. <laughs> and I don't know. I just, let's i don't know man i just i i want to give it a chance just because it like aesthetically it looks fucking cool like i'm really into like the whole genre of what this game is about but like i just don't trust bungie anymore and that's like the core thing of it like a lot of the devs well three of them is the people who have given destiny 2 some of the best content ever we're talking like what is it taken king uh forsaken like a bunch of great DLCs expansions that we've had in the game. Some of the best, some of the people are behind marathon. And on one hand, I'm like, okay, because they're behind that game, I can definitely like get into it knowing it's in good hands. But then in the back of my head, I'm like, but what, what would stop Bungie from just pulling them out to start working on a new IP? And then it just falling to shit like destiny two has over the years. Like, do I really want to invest my time in another Bungie game? knowing the fact that it might get be handed into a skeleton crew so that they can work on another game and that thought terrifies me because like i don't want to 
I don't want to be attached. Like, I don't want to have a shackle and chain again, because that's what I feel with Destiny 2. Like, if I'm being quite honest, if I wasn't doing this channel, I would have I would have quit Destiny. Like, true, man, I would have quit Destiny probably. Ooh, now, which queen, which queen was dope. But I definitely would stop getting the big seasonal. I don't know, man. Like, I probably would have quit. Like, probably Shadow Keep would have been my last one because Shadow Keep was truly terrible. Uh, probably would have came back for like maybe Witch Queen if I heard it was good. But like the thing is, I don't it's not like I don't have anything to play. I have so many other games that I could be playing and I do play occasionally, but I don't put more time into like because I play Destiny 2. So like I probably would really become a content creator for Final Fantasy 14 just because I love that game so much. So yeah, like the addiction Destiny 2 is, has given me is real and that's why I still play it. And partly because I want to keep this channel going because I really like the fashion in Destiny 2. And I would like to add Marathon's fashion into this channel. But I, the idea of playing a loot or not looter shooter, the idea of playing an extraction shooter just doesn't jive with me. Because again, I don't like extraction shooters. So that's pretty much it. That's the video. Let me know what you guys think about the game itself. Again, like the other the other like main pain point for me is the fact that like this game's getting dedicated servers like better anti-cheat or whatever and that's that's shit that we've wanted in the game forever and it it kills me that they essentially left destiny 2 to a skeleton crew pvp wise to make a pvp game and i'm just like that's so disrespectful because like now you're asking players like oh destiny 2 players we have a game for you and it's like yeah but it's an extraction shooter like i'm there's there's multiple camps in destiny 2 like for gameplay like there's the people in pve that think pvp should leave which is fucking weird because this game does not get enough updates to like be playable like replayable so you're just gonna be playing pve stuff over and over and over and that just sounds boring as hell and then you have the people who in pvp who just want good stuff and i'm not even i'm not even saying like give us a portion of the pve development time they just want like servers to be stable or just their own servers which let's be real um dedicated servers would be dope for destiny 2 but they just want like new maps and some weapons and that's it and i never understand why pve players are like yeah take destiny 2 pvp out and it'll be and the game will be great like i don't know y'all are fucking weird um so I don't know, as a Destiny 2 player, I just feel like this game is a... Uh... <sighs> I don't know, as a Destiny 2 player, I feel like I don't want to give this game a try because I've been with Destiny 2 for so long. I've seen the ups and downs. And as of right now, I feel like I see more downs than up. And I just don't feel comfortable playing another Bungie game where there's a high possibility of just that happening again because i'm kind of tired of just being disappointed by bungie I'd, I'd rather be disappointed in destiny 2 than a new game and be like all right cool i guess i'll just be disappointed in this granted i'm not going to be addicted to this game considering i already don't even like the main core of the game which is extraction shooters so i guess at that point i could give it a try but again i have no interest in this game aside from the fact that the art design and the world probably will be really cool other than that like the extraction shooter is probably going to be ass. Um, if they have other PVP modes, I will see if I get into it or not. Uh, the other thing is the fact that just like I know how Bungie is going so hard on monetization. So like cosmetics is probably going to be something that you have to pay for, um, which is going to be a super big bummer because if I have to pay to make my character look cool, then at that point, I'm just going to fucking skip this game at like as a fashion content creator, just because I already spend like what, what how much do I have to have how much do I have to spend right now just to get the PlayStation exclusive armor for for Destiny 2 like 50 bucks because the 50 pack gives me 10 extra silver so that means I can actually buy the whole thing like do I really want to go into another Bungie game knowing that the prices are going to be that ludicrous for an armor set like I don't know man so let me know what you guys think about it I'm definitely like really disappointed because I would have liked if it was like pve and pvp kind of like destiny 2 because then at that point it would have been really good but at the same time that would have been really dumb because then at, at that point they're like uh competing with themselves 
but I've I've always thought this and I've, I think I've said it in a few videos that I think Destiny 2 desperately needs some like competition and I mean like true competition like I think Respawn needs to come out with a looter shooter esque I don't know like I need I need someone in the in the FPS genre that does like really good feeling FPS like feeling like Destiny 2 does make a looter shooter with some pvp in there like give destiny 2 some competition because they fucking need it because at this point the game is just lethargic and i feel it in the gameplay and i feel it with each season passing so yeah that's pretty much my whole rant about marathon i mean i'm excited for the people who are excited for it i'm just not going to be one of those people because of the reason i, I listed so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later